chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for had to come off. Yo, Rocket Boy. I can hear somebody shouting. What's this do? On shit now. Oh. Walk on dark. the code. Whoa, you. Oh shit. Somebody put the lights on. Whoa. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which is complicated in total studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. 
It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence Whoa. and social structure, Fuck. as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the port. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping what and begin to answer the many questions we have about Blue these animals. Or simply, soul view. It was discovered in 2104, located in a geographic region where UAC research is abundant evidence of a long lost civilization. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bowman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube shaped artifact which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. And once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about I have two thirds, give or take, of the markings, but and you my initial will plans never are that the rest of the harbor some far greater power. As you know, at this time, we have not seen any reaction. Oh, crap. ...has been still any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a man. My name is Ian McCoy. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta. Yeah, that was plain before. What you see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul what Cube. The... It was discovered in 2104. Located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic as evidenced by U1's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine U1 have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning you one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can one day soon learn to exploit the technologies that make up you one.
beast. What the hell? Okay, not that one. Destroy the bridge. Access granted. Oh crap. God damn it. Got me again. This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano, dated September 19, 2145. I've been brainstorming on Vitruva's thoughts about achieving sustained, uninterrupted transfers with the teleportation units. Currently, our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It's enough time to get a team through, but not enough time to send in some of the heavier equipment. Engineering in the info facility informed me that we can theoretically boost the active portal time to 45 seconds quite easily. But this will require rerouting power from central processing and we just can't it out. The power requirements for the system are astronomical. We're sucking power from three veins in Inpro just to power chamber one. I have no idea how we can sustain transfers for longer than 60 seconds without giving serious thought to reorganizing the teleport power grid. Destroy him! This is Dr. Frank Serrano signing off. Um, when and if we can get in there, there must be a storage unit. Don't want to open. Just have to find another way. What the fuck?
Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Li, dated October 16, 2145. Why is it that I keep getting the crummy jobs? Armor Corps first platoon, first science plan, completely wiped out this morning on their second experience. And I am the one charged with writing up the reports and sending this information back to Earth next of kin. <sighs> so here I am. First cup of coffee for the day. Five hours of sleep the night before, no shower, and I have 20 dead bodies to fill out paperwork on. I haven't seen the actual corpses, but word coming down from the grapevine says that it looks like they have been hacked up pretty good. It says everyone on the base spooked. Vertruger is nowhere to be found, and there are a lot of questions being asked with no answers from anyone. As I heard. Suiting up the next outfit with a new decontamination process. Started. Sounds like they weren't taking any chances on this next trip with them packing that kind of fire. Decontamination power. complete. Have a nice day. Shit, I want to remove. God damn you. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Li, dated October 20th, 2145. Just when I thought this job couldn't get much worse, it did. Delta scientists sent another group of researchers through the portal two days ago and they failed to return at their scheduled time. The radio transmissions to the research body have gone unanswered. Even our LZ tracking systems can't find them. We fear. Losing lives is one thing, but losing our proprietary technologies is another. The team was equipped with the newest BFG weaponry. We fear those guns may have fallen in the hands of those who killed them. We don't know who or what is behind that portal. But until we find out where our guns are, I'm suggesting we suspend operations to the portal. Thank you. End of log. Yeah, well, I want myself one of those BFG guns. Destination. I don't know. Pad two selected. you ain't payback a bitch we're just above where I've just teleported from there must be
Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. My Have patience with you is wearing thin. Tough. What a mess. Which way so many dead ends and the lights have gone out?
This way first. Please select teleport destination. Pad 3 selected. It's as good as any, I suppose. I saw you sneaking on me. Yeah, in your face. somebody sneaking about. It's pretty cheap with a rocket launch I suppose but Of cheap shots on me. Contamination chamber sequence initiated. Decontamination process started. Primary system failure. System shutdown. 
Backup systems online. Stop him! Is he running off too? Maintenance personnel needed in chamber three. Selected. Gotta have gone there. This is the one we couldn't get in before. God damn, what was the code? I don't need it. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Where's he gone? Pad one selected. That way. Oh, I well, get it. Went through that. Come straight back there. I 
I guess we'll have to go back around, but I think I'll end this video anyway because it's uh, dragging on a little bit now. So we um, catch you back soon and hopefully we'll find where the hell we're going. So better save it.